Hello everyone. So let's try to solve one problem from CSIRnet 2022. And uh, this exam was held in month of September. And uh, this problem is from classical mechanics, mainly special theory of relativity. So let's try to solve this one. So first I will discuss what is the actual problem. So there is S frame and which is inertial frame. And uh, the particle, I can write P for the particle. The particle has rest mass M, which is moving with the speed V in K cap direction. So it is given. So velocity of a particle with respect to S is V in K cap direction. So this is very interesting. And another frame S dash is moving with respect to S with speed U in I cap direction. So velocity of S dash with respect to S is U in I cap direction. So it is very interesting. What we have to do, we have to calculate energy. So I can use this space only. So we have to calculate energy of a particle with respect to S dash. So this thing we have to calculate. So obviously, what is the mother formula? If we want to calculate this one, then we have to go for mc squared, that is rest mass energy. This m is rest mass by root under 1 minus mod velocity of a particle with respect to s dash whole square upon c square. And this is mod thing is there. So we have to calculate the speed of a particle with respect to s dash. So this is the whole idea. So first we have to calculate the speed of a particle with respect to s dash. So let's try to go for a first thing is velocity of a particle with respect to s dash in I cap direction is given by velocity of a particle with respect to s in I cap direction minus velocity of s dash with respect to s in I cap direction because it is given in I cap direction by 1 minus velocity of a particle with respect to s in I cap direction and velocity of s dash with respect to s by c squared. This is also in I cap direction. And popularly, you can say this is nothing but your ux dash. This is your ux. This is your v. And don't confuse with this v and that v. So we are just writing in this form actually. So what will be this value? So this value is minus u because this is 0. This value is equal to given that is minus u. So ux dash is equal to minus u. Similarly, we have to go for velocity of a particle with respect to s dash in y cap direction. That is velocity of a particle with respect to s dash in j cap direction. And for this, we have to go for formula velocity of a particle with respect to s in k cap direction root under 1 minus velocity of s dash with respect to s whole square upon c square. Sorry, this is in j cap direction actually. This is in j cap direction. So velocity and obviously this term will be also there. So 1 minus velocity of a particle with respect to s in i cap, velocity of a s dash with respect to s upon c square in i cap direction. So this term is 0. The velocity of particle with respect to s in j cap direction is also 0. So this value is also 0. So this value will straightforward 0. Now we will go for u z dash. And this is velocity of a particle with respect to s dash in k cap direction. And we can use this formula velocity of a particle with respect to s in k cap direction root under 1 minus velocity of s dash with respect to s whole square upon c square by 1 minus velocity of a particle with respect to s in i cap direction, velocity of a s dash with respect to s upon c cap in i cap direction. So this term is 0 and this term is given as v. So this is v root under 1 minus u square upon c square. So this is my uz dash. So this is first thing and this thing. 
So now we have find the component of velocity of particle with respect to S dash. Now we can easily find the magnitude and then we can put it into this formula and we can get the answer. Okay. So I am just uh, removing this formula part. Okay. <clears throat> so yes, and this is your UI dash. So magnitude of a particle of magnitude of velocity of a particle with respect to s dash square is nothing but ux is ux dash square ui dash square plus uj dash square and from there this will be u square plus zero square plus v square and this is one minus u square upon c square now we will put it into this particular formula so when we will put it into this particular formula, now we can use all this particular expression. So energy of a particle with respect to S dash is basically mc square root under 1 minus we have u square plus v square 1 minus u square upon c square. And this term can be written as mc square root under 1 by c square is also there. So we have u square upon c square minus v square upon c square plus and this minus minus plus v square upon c square u square upon c square so this is my thing now we have to write this in term of this particular combination so energy of a particle with respect to s dash is rest mass energy square upon we can easily do this uh, uh, fraction that is 1 minus u square upon c square into 1 minus v square upon c square so this thing can be written as mc square gamma mu gamma nu. So this will be your answer. So this is straightforward problem, but you have to be very much careful for the notation. You have to be very much careful for the concept. And the actual concept is just writing this expression carefully. Once you write this expression, then obviously each and everything is cakewalk for you. Thank you.